let's now see together how to publish some content. So how does the publishing process work? And now we can can we put uh, journeys that we created on the live application. So uh, in order to publish some content, we need we need to have some uh, some content already uh, created. So in this case, I have these two journeys which I can select uh, and, and and put live. I also have one tip which I will also publish. In order to do to start this this publishing process, you need to uh, hover. The, the journeys that you want to publish and then set them to active from this button. As you select this, you see that the icon over here as the current status will change to active. Now this uh, with a draft icon would mean that it's still this will not be uh, published in our next um, version. In this case I want to publish both. So I will select both and I'll also go and do the same for um, for my login tab, uh, login tagged tips. So I'm using some tag to uh, group um, some additional tips, which I can. Uh, I want to group publish uh, together. So I will select this and set all of them to active. Now also the tips will be published. Once I select the status to active from here. I need to go over my um, my Chrome my, my portal. Once I am in, inside the portal, I can uh, I can see that in the publishing tab uh, I have my um, notification on some new elements that I can publish uh, with this no, this red circle here. And in order to create our first version. Uh, in order to publish content, you need to create a version. What the version is, is, is essentially a snapshot of the current version that you have, of the current status of the journeys active that you have inside the editor. So by creating multiple versions, I'm also to, uh, able to create multiple snapshots of my journeys so that I can also revert, so go back or go forward with other additional versions. But in this case, we uh, let, let's uh, let's create uh, our our version here by just simply clicking submit changes, and I will click this, and I will have this window on which I can have my name of version, my new version, and I can add notes descri describing uh, any changes compared to. Uh, the previous one, or if I want to add some just internal notes for my colleagues, I can do it from here. And over here, we have a detailed view of what we are actually uh, adding in this version. So you see that we added uh, some journey, login and showcase. Uh, there was another journey that was removed, and we also added one tip. Uh, there are no other changes, but from here you have a general sense of whatever you did over this specific version so that also when you come back inside the portal and you want to perhaps check or revert to this specific version, if you then go of course forward uh, and, and publish new ones, you can also do that and you will see also the status of this version. So we can do two things from here, we can either publish it as live directly so that this will create a version and put it available for end users or we can just submit this for review. In this case I want, it, I want to, to start with a review, uh, submit for review, so I'll click this. The version will be created. As you can see, I did already have a version before which is already live. So in my version number one I have my journey test only available for end users and this is the one still live. Um, I do have created my version, my, my, my second version here, but it's not available for anybody. Now before putting it live, what I can do is also preview it over the live site to check if, uh, if it's my, my, um, my needs, if there is any issue, before having you know, any, any uh, end user already checking it, I want to make sure that everything works uh, correctly before uh, going on and uh, and 
making it available. So what I can do is by clicking these three dots, I can preview my um, this new version. Now by, by clicking this, I will be able to preview uh, on my on my browser the 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 second version. Now the first version will still be live for any other end users, but um, only this specific instance will be affected by the second version so that I can check this live. So if I go over my site, I will see that I have all my journeys, my new journeys. But this will only be available for me so that I can check the journeys, I can simulate them and go forward. And if I like how, how the, the journeys are, are working, and you know I can click here congratulation my journey is done I'm inside the application I can exit journey um, let me just also log out I can say okay so this version uh, it's it's good enough I can uh, now set it set this as live so uh, after I preview it I can maybe also share it with my colleagues have some user acceptance testing over my specific version and once we have the approval, we can set this as live. So just by putting this live, everybody will be able to see this uh, new version over the live environment. As you can see here, we also have the tip that we published available here. So this is essentially the steps required in order to publish with um, with with uh, with your content, so both new new art and uh, new art journeys and tips.